There may not be a worse feeling than finding out that your favorite TV show has been cancelled. So we will be talking about the 10 best cancelled TV series to binge watch now. You'll want to stick around to the end to see which cancelled TV series had the possibility of being one of the all-time great crime series. Before we dive in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments what cancelled TV series are binge-worthy. Let's get started. I May Destroy You, HBO Max. What's your name? Yeah! What's your name? I'm a five-star top! What's your five-star top? <laughs> it is difficult incorporating humor into a dark situation like surviving a sexual assault, yet Michaela Cole manages to do just that in her second created show. Loosely based on her own experience, the show follows a best-selling author, in Arabella, who begins to reassess everything about her life such as family, friends, and her job after being drugged at a nightclub and assaulted. I feel with you telling me I've done something wrong, telling me there's something wrong with me, telling me Ella, what? If you watched your drink. If I what? If you watched your drink, you wouldn't have been raped. I wouldn't talk to you again. The series is acclaimed for its portrayal of how such a traumatic event can change a person by seeing Arabella's change before and after. The show even does a great job of incorporating great written storylines for a very well-developed supporting cast. Calling Cole a talented writer feels like an insult to how gifted she actually is, as she wrote, created, and directed this two-time Emmy-winning series. Designated Survivor, Netflix Starring Kiefer Sutherland as Tom Kirkman, a low-cabinet member for the president put as the designated survivor, he finds himself thrust into the presidency after a terrorist attack during the State of the Union wipes out the president and most of the U.S. government. The show does a fantastic job of managing to draw the viewer in by splitting its focus between Kirkman trying to rebuild the government and run the country and Special Agent Hannah Wells, played by Maggie Q, investigating who committed the attack, which leads to a major conspiracy. It was created by the same strategic group at the Pentagon. It highlights vulnerabilities at the Golden Gate Bridge, the Hoover Dam, the Statue of Liberty. Sutherland played his presidential role to perfection, but it was his supporting cast and their individual stories that made this show so addictive. Breakout Kings, Hulu. Let's take a walk, boy. Coming from the creators that made Prison Break, this series adds a fascinating twist when it comes to prison escapes. Unlike other shows of the same premise, Breakout Kings team up U.S. Marshals Charlie Duchamp and Ray Zancanelli with three of the most elusive convicts they have caught to create a task force and capture other fugitives. The show may not excel with its realism, but that quickly gets overlooked when watching as the action, suspense, and hilarious chemistry of the cast is the real draw. Oh, girls. He's pathological. It means his actions are driven by an uncontrollable mental condition. I know what pathological means. Not to mention the anticipation fans felt for a new season after that season two cliffhanger. With all that said, it unfortunately only lasted two seasons after one of the characters was killed off, ultimately ruining the direction of the show. The following, Apple TV. Well, what do you have there? A customized 24 inch pressurized spear gun, mainly used for deep sea fishing. <laughs> What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. I'm gonna try it out. Kevin Bacon stars in this mystery crime series as a former FBI agent, Ryan Hardy, who is called upon again when notorious serial killer Joe Carroll escapes death row to get his revenge on Ryan. After being captured and sent to prison by Hardy for murdering 14 women, Carroll managed to create a murderous cult that helped him escape. You want to do this for me? I want to be important, sir. I want my life to matter. This is my gift. The suspense and mystery of the show are enthralling, watching Hardy try desperately to capture Carol while managing to dodge the multiple assassination attempts on his life. While the plot and acting did manage to draw our attention, we will save you the trouble and say to just binge the first two seasons and skip the final one. The Society, Netflix. A modernized version of Lord of the Flies, this series is set in Connecticut and follows high school students as they return home from a camping trip to find that all the adults are now gone. 
After the suspected all-night rager, high school kids are bound to have at such a discovery. They realize that they have to rebuild the entire community and have some sort of leadership and structure. This leads to a major power struggle that quickly turns deadly, with student president Cassandra trying to run a fair camp and Campbell, a diagnosed psychopath, just trying to take power for himself. The main mystery may be finding out what happened to the adults, which became even more mysterious after the season one finale, but the entertainment value is seeing the most spoiled teens try and set up a successful town. Dewey's not back there. Are you sure? Uh, no. What the f what are you talking about? Well, what do you mean? There's a lot of people back there. Lethal Weapon, Hulu. This TV show reboot of the popular 90s movie starred Damon Wayans as Detective Roger Murtaugh and Clayne Crawford as Martin Riggs. The show does a great job of incorporating the high action-packed moments along with the great on-screen chemistry between Wayans and Crawford that made us love the movies. Put the ribs down, Roger. Put them down. Good night, baby. Good night, Martin. Good night, Trish. Good night, baby. She said no. Especially seeing the contrasting personalities of the by-the-book Murtaugh and the loose cannon risk-it-all attitude of Riggs when it comes to solving cases. It quickly managed to become one of the few reboots that became a major fan favorite, managing to put out three seasons of 18 to 22 episodes each. Unfortunately, while the chemistry on screen was spectacular and what really drove the show, it was the rocky chemistry off screen between the two co-stars that became this show's downfall. Chewing Gum, HBO Max. Michaela Cole has already proven her writing dexterity by creating one of the best shows written in I May Destroy You and one of the funniest sitcoms in recent times in Chewing Gum. Cole plays Tracy Gordon, a 24-year-old in England who desperately tries to lose her virginity while living with her strict evangelical mother, placing her in some cringeworthy yet hilarious awkward moments. Yeah. Do you live with your mom? Uh, no, I'm so proud to say that I own my own penthouse apartment. Are you dumb um, or are you smart? Well, that's a subjective question. Did you finish your 11? I've got a degree in finance. Cool, drop call my phone. Not only do you feel a sense of relatability with Tracy as you watch her failing attempts, but Cole also managed to do the same with the other characters' storylines. With the fantastic shows she has already put out, expect to see a lot more on the way from one of the best young creators in the industry, in Michaela Cole. Agent Carter, Disney Plus. Picking up right after the first Captain America movie, this MCU canon series follows Peggy Carter as she tries to move on with her life after the death of Steve Rogers. We see her struggle with the fact that World War II is now over and that she is still only viewed as Captain America's girlfriend and not the top agent she has proven to be. That changes after Howard Stark comes to her for help clearing his name of traitor charges, which she agrees to and teams up with his comically witty butler, Jarvis. The two go on multiple missions that end up saving the world, and one mission even allowed us to get an in-depth look at the training that goes on in the Red Room. <laughs> Hayley Atwell's performance may have carried the show, but it only managed to do so for two seasons before getting cancelled. Blackish, Hulu. This may be the most shocking cancellation of all the shows on here, as this eight season sitcom looked like it was going to go for at least 10. Created by Kenya Barris, it follows the life of Dre and his family as he tries to stop his kids from losing their cultural identity while living in a predominantly all white neighborhood our kids white names and they've all what? ended up blackish. Hey. I just want at least one of my kids to end up being black hey. so I can love it. Uh, 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 we were just coming downstairs to see if there was any cake left. The series may be hilarious, but what it's acclaimed for is its masterful job of diving straight into some difficult topics about race. While the cast was filled with A-listers such as Anthony Anderson, Tracy Ellis Ross, Lawrence Fishburne, and Jennifer Lewis, 
It also gave rise to the careers for many of the cast as well, such as Yara Shahidi, who starred in her own spin-off series, Grownish. Gang-related, Apple TV. Ever since he was a kid, LA police officer Ryan Lopez has been loyal to and under the protection of one of LA's biggest and most ruthless gangs. Cut out their spines, wrap them around their necks. That's how the Russian Mafia familiar does it. Exactly. Being in the gang task force unit, Ryan has to manage to balance his job properly and protecting the Acosta family. Although there are people in the family who are constantly on the brink of outing him to his unit. Was. These are pictures of the 67 people that work in my unit. I want you to look at these carefully. Tell me if you recognize any of the faces. Gang-related, if given one more season, had all the makings of being one of the better crime series, with high-octane gun battles, brutality, and capturing storylines for each character. Not to mention a cast that we have all seen on multiple shows and movies, such as Riza, Inbar Lavi, Sung Kang, and Leela Lauren. It was truly upsetting watching that season one finale, knowing there was so much more to the story left on the table. Do you agree with our choices? Check out these other videos from Idiot Box Review and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when a new video is posted to the channel.